Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is me, Muhammad Asnan, with the University of Spoken English and Computer Sciences. Today, I have a very prominent and a very important guest with us. In every show, in every program, there are guests with us, multiple topics we talk upon. And today, we have a very great guest. And I would like to introduce you to HOD of Online Department of the University of Spoken English and Computer Sciences. So, Mr. Kamran, sir, I would warmly welcome you into the show. Wa alaikum as -salam, and thank you so much, Mr. Asnain, for your beautiful words. Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, I would like to call you people all, and I would like to tell you that what is all this about. Now, as you people know that there was pandemics and all of all these things, so most of you might be known of online learning. Um, nowadays, there was only thinking that were people were thinking about how we can record things and upload it and people would learn from it. But now the latest form of it is online learning, where you stream and where you talk face to face to your teacher. That is the best way of learning I can think. And I'm very surprised that how the University of Spoken English also get also got very good reviews at their traditional teaching but also has its own database also has its own online networking system from which we can do all of this so let's talk with sir kamran about all of these things so first of all sir kamran i know you very well but please give us a warm welcome uh, give us a warm uh, introduction of yours, sir. Well, uh, my name is Kamran Rahman, and I'm working in the University of Spoken English and Computer Science as an, as an English instructor and as well as an HOD of the online platform. Sir, I know you very well, and I'm very uh, fond of the online era because it is like drastically times have changed uh, throughout the COVID-19 and throughout the uh, 2000 starting as the 2000 before 2000 there was no such thing as digital lifestyle or digital uh, personalities there were no things like that nobody knew about it but after just like 10 to 20 years everything suddenly changed i cannot understand that how fast or instantly everything just got changed suddenly a change in everything everything was changed now people were talking digitally everything was going on digitally and people starting started to make their own digital personalities where they used to be a different person they used to have a different way of talking even some people like i've met they are totally different from what they are showing on the internet so digitalization is a very big thing nowadays and if you don't know about it so i think you're from the past exactly yes so uh, sir i know that online learning is one of the best ideas human mankind could have known because it is best in every way but still i would like to ask that what is online learning it's very simple you know like uh, online learning is an alternative uh, alternative way of studying uh, when you take online courses instead of uh, going to your physical classes, you know, if you have a, a tough uh, schedule, you know, if you have a hard schedule, it, if, it is, if it makes uh, difficult for you to, 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 to take your physical classes, you know, uh, and if your campus is away from you. So in such circumstances, one can go for online learning and moreover, uh, the, the lectures, the class can be recorded and they can be rewatched as well. So there are so many pros for online learning. As I said, online is one of the best things mankind could have known, but even for a little bit more further description, I would like to ask that what is the benefit of online learning? Because somehow we also learn from the traditional learning mm -hmm. and we also learn from the online learning. But what are the special things in online learning we cannot learn in our daily lifestyle? Uh, yeah, uh, actually uh, among the ma many benefits of online, uh, it allows you to enjoy a more flexible environment, you know, uh, it also saves you money and time you know and uh, yeah it also teaches you the base way of uh, communications you know virtual communications and uh, it also enhance your communication skills as well and it also reduces stress as well so there are so many pros for uh, online benefits you know like uh, it, it, it it benefits uh, with different wider range you know like yes so sir like how many students do you have and where are they from well uh, we have uh, 
uh, almost 200 students across Pakistan. Even we have international students as well. Uh, we have students from UAE, Cambodia, Afghanistan, and so many other countries. So yeah, we have so many students in different parts of the world. And other than sir, what about the satisfaction rate of students? Are they satisfied with the classes? And what about the teachers? Are they satisfied with the internet connection? Exactly. We have got good internet connection. Yeah, we have got good satisfaction rate. You know, like um, you must say, you, you may search out the internet. You know, like uh, we are getting great review from the our students. You know, yeah, they are very satisfied. You know, and they are very happy with this because we have some different, uh, different side of course. You know. Uh, uh, we have different teachers with different, you know, like different expertise, you know. Uh, yeah, like they're very satisfied, you know. Yes. Yeah. And if you watch like in the COVID-19 era, there were multiple schools, like for example, the school that I go to, Army Public School, that was in a very sided area, like it wasn't in the main city or it wasn't in the modern city. So if you call, so like there were a lot of problems of internet connection, etc., stuff like that. There were a lot of problems and a lot of cons in that. Mm. But nowadays, if you watch, they, those are the things of the past. Nowadays, there are more companies of internet that provide you with a better internet service. There are more better companies that provide you a live stream, a better live streaming, a better live one-to-one -one experience mm. that provide you with a better everything, I exactly. can call it. So you guys might have a question like f many of us have this that sometimes there are problems in internet etc so like 99 percent of the classes sometimes get pending etc but what about those type of places where the teacher cannot take the class so does he skip the class or does he uh, for example record it in well, yeah, uh, as I have told you that the online lectures and the classes, they can be recorded and they can be re-watched. Yeah, obviously, you know, like uh, uh, if, if, if a student, you know, faces internet problem, yeah, they can come uh, or they can contact us, you know, uh, via internet, you know, we can send them, you know, all the classes, all the lectures online. What are the most engaging activities that you have in your class? Well, uh, we have a lot of activities in our classes, online classes, you know, like we have debates, uh, we have presentations, we have quiz, we have, you know, like, yeah, uh, we do have a test, a monthly test, you know, so uh, we have a lot in our play. And what about the different courses you have or you provide? Well, uh, we run a range of courses uh, such as uh, um, English language, English language courses, you know, like the communications, uh, the conversation classes, you know, the basic, basic to advanced, you know, uh, uh, we have basic conversation class and as well as we have advanced conversation classes as well. And along with that, we have sm special grammar classes. Uh, we have Delta. Uh, we have, you know, like web designing and web development courses as well. We have creative writing uh, classes and uh, as well as we have, you know, freelancing and Amazon and we have a lot of courses. Sir, aside from like you're even an online teacher and aside for like you are favoring online teaching, I know that because you're an online teacher, but generally, what do you think? Which is better, online teaching or physical teaching? Well, uh, there is a big reason behind it that I'm, I'm favoring, you know, the online classes, you know, that I've been, I had been working in calls and different call center with different organizations. So that's why, you know, uh, uh, I love or uh, I favor online uh, online teaching and uh, and you know yeah uh, the thing is that you know like uh, what make what makes it different for the physical classes you know uh, a student gets more chance to speak you know like learning a language you know it, it you know like for that you need to talk a lot and uh, if you get chance okay if you're given a chance in uh, in an online class obviously you will talk and if you talk you will learn English uh, yeah. Um, if you if you, if you talk about the physical classes, uh, yeah, uh, the average class uh, do have thirty to thirty five students. But it, when it comes to online, we do have fifteen or 15, twenty students, not more than this. So if there are less students, they will get more chance to speak. And if they they, if they talk a lot, they talk a lot yeah. So, so obviously, more. automatically, they will learn a lot, and they will learn soon. That's all. Yes. So what about the students? Like, how many students do you have, and where are they from? Uh, yeah, we have, you know, like, 
uh, more than 200 students, different part of the world, uh, across Pakistan, you know, from different cities, you know, we have, uh, we have international students from Afghanistan, uh, UAE, Saudi Arabia, uh, Cambodia, and so many other countries. So, yeah, uh, uh, we are getting a very good response from the people around the world. Yes, somehow that's a great thing, and I would like to include uh, include some things in Sir's world. Uh, as we see that, like in even our traditional teaching, I still remember over ninety nine percent of people used to come from different places. Not only from our Peshawar place, like not only from KPK, they used to come from yeah. Afghanistan. They used to come from even like places like Sindh, etc. Mm. They used to come. They used to take classes, and it was a bit unacceptable. Uh, unaccessible for the people who are foreigners. Exactly. But now with the online learning, which is an easier way of learning and even a more easier way, I can call it. it. I just mentioned yes. it, you know, like it saves money and time, you know, yes. like, uh, yeah. It's uh, we've, accessible we've been working, to We've been working for the last 14 years, you know, the yes. online, the, the University of Spoken English and Computer Science is working for the last 14 years. So, uh, here, what happens here in Peshawar, that people come from different part of, uh, different part of Pakistan, you know, different cities, you know, they come here, they rent a room, you know, and they, you know, they, they, they pay, they pay for their food, they pay for their room, you know. So uh, what, what, what is happening actually here in the online? You don't have to come here. You don't have to rent a room, you know. You can just stay yeah. at home. You can take online classes, you know. Uh, so it's like. A you, you're ton of times you, you're getting less the expensive. You're exactly. getting the same information, even more information and more chance. By sitting in, at your home, you know. even a less price. Because if you watch, if you're coming to the traditional classes, they'll charge you a little bit more because you're coming and you're getting space. Yeah. And if you are known serious with your classes, so you're going to get deactivated, etc. Because you are actually taking somebody else's chance. And in that class, every single chance matters. But in online, that's not the deal. Here, you don't have to pay for 99 of the things that includes convents, that includes uh, staying in hostels, uh, renting rooms, etc. That includes coming and going, that it's includes even the food that you're having. Everything is included in that. So it's like 99% of the value and 99% of the money is saved. And other than that, the only 1% is used, which is in learning something thing and when you are doing it by heart especially exactly. so then it's a combination uh, that creates the perfect combination i would like to add here something you know the the students that i have in online they're more interested as, as i compare them with physical classes yes they come and they they you know like i don't remember a day you know when i when i gave my uh, when i gave my students a task and uh, they don't come up with I have never, you know, like noticed a day, you know, like they, they come up with some interest, you know, yes. and uh, yeah, they enjoy it a lot. And as well as, you know, yes. uh, I also enjoy online classes instead of physical classes and the traditional classes that we have in here. In Yes, so somehow I prefer that if you're studying in any university or, and if you want to come to this university, the University of Spoken English, Computer Sciences, where you can learn English, you can speak in a better way, you can learn the skill of speaking. Here you can come and if you cannot come, the better option is taking. The online class is an easier option. It is more engaging, it is better in every way for us. It is better like... I cannot explain how I'm feeling for this. And I personally think that from the time that I'm coming, if I would have saved the convents, it would have been better for me. Very bad. But for the people who came from the like from the starting of this university, there wasn't that kind of things now. But nowadays, it is possible for every student. So don't miss the opportunity yeah, right uh, now. As you know, like the COVID-19 is around the corner. So, you know, we should get ourselves intimate with the online learning, yes. you know, like uh, it will be very difficult you know if it comes and if you're not ready that you know like things will not work you know so as i just mentioned that covid covid is around the corner so we should get ourselves intimate with the online learning Yes, and if we watch, so the most engaging part of all of this thing is that this is the ultimate opportunity for you people, that you don't need to come, you don't need to do anything. And the biggest part is that even if you're so busy that you cannot plug earphones in your, uh, for example, your ears, and you cannot, like, even if you're watching a movie, you yeah. can still even sit and, wa and watch the 
sir and when he's questioning you can answer him and if you're very very busy so you can take the i can say the recorded version of it and you can watch it later on when you get freed so the biggest opportunity is that and where we don't have that in our traditional classes I've noticed so many students, so many of my students, you know, they travel and they take my classes, you know, they don't miss my classes, you know, while traveling, you know, they just plug their hand for you, you know, and, you know, use their phone and, you know, that they don't talk, but they, you know, listen to my lecture. So, you know, like, uh, you can never ever, you know, miss an online class, but uh, if, if you compare it to physical class, you can, you know, take your class while you're, while you're traveling or some, some other yes. things. And I personally tell to every single parent out there that they want their kids to engage in some kind of good skill. I would prefer you guys to come to a university and take the, and search and you can watch like the you can watch the results. There is no better, I can say, no better university in KPK than uh, I can Pakistan. say across Pakistan technically because I think that this is one of the best universities you can find and if you are not accessible so I would I would think that your kid is, has to go in some kind of good uh, skills he wants to learn something good so he can take the online class is one of the most engaging one of the best activities that your kid can have by sitting just in front of a phone by sitting in front of even the TV if you uh. want if you want to watch or monitor your kid that what kind of topics is he talking about, what kind of things is the teacher talking about, you can also monitor those. After the recorded versions, you can monitor it, that what kind of things, and when you're satisfied with it, you can come and you can even promote it to other people, you can promote it mm -hmm. ahead. So, and. I would like to add one more thing, you know, like as as I have mentioned that I have I have students from different part of the part of the world, you know, like so when you take classes with different people with different mindset, that's where you grow. Yes. Okay, that's what you learn something, that's you know, people with different culture, you know. Learning. So yeah, like you know, uh, yeah, the students are enjoying a lot, you know, like they're having different students with different culture, you know, different you know different thoughts, you know, uh, yeah, you know, like it, it makes it. A bit more interesting. Interesting, a bit more interactive, mm. a bit more enjoyable. It's an infotainment, we can call it. Exactly. Yeah, and especially when we watch, so according to even physics, that when you're watching a thing online or in front of a screen, that is much more interactive. Where in front of a whiteboard, you're sitting and you're watching to the whiteboard, that's not that much interactive. But the more interactive part is the online one. And I've personally felt it, that the online learning where my teachers in the school couldn't make me understand about the physics behind multiple things or about the uh, science behind multiple things, only a one YouTube search can find that out out for me and only with one one month one year or one I can say 10 years you can learn English very easily within a year within two years that's it like you will be the perfect and I can say the perfect and the finest speaker of English if you just stay here for like six seven months you can have the finest accent mm -hmm. here because I personally learned English within six seven years mm -hmm. uh, not years sorry six seven months <laughs> I, I spend a lot of time in the university because I'm an old st uh, student but uh, I'm nowadays not taking classes I'm actually taking uh, classes with uh, the owner of the university as I'm uh, preparing myself for the future plans so I need a better mentor from mm. now so personally I've spent a lot of time and I personally loved uh, when I uh, when I heard the concept from our owner and uh, I personally loved when I heard that Sir Kamran is going to be the HOD of it so it became even more better for us and one of the best teachers we can have is Sir Kamran we are so much thankful for you thank coming you so to much Sustain, for your beautiful words this is nothing in front of what uh, you are giving you are promoting Pakistan you are uh, saving people's time and that's a great thing I can call it and we are saving people's time because it's all of us that engage together and we save each other's time we create an interactive space for everyone and this is all we do this is all we have with no student there is no university exactly 
So with all of you people's love, you people's, the love that you people are sending towards us, this is all we want and this is all we get and this is all we have somehow <laughs> okay uh, that was just a joke yeah. so this is all we want from you people that you people's love your people's activities your people's for example uh, participation in the class this is all we want we don't want anything else from you people but uh, non-serious behaviors etc i would personally be very uh, serious with the classes if i was a student but I would recommend every person who wants to learn English to be serious because we take one class in a week and then not coming for the whole week. This is what our people do in traditional classes. But in online, it's the opposite because online is much more interactive than the traditional classes. But both of them have their own importance. Both of them yeah. have their own plus points. They both have their own pros. Mm. And they both have some cons. Yeah, yeah somehow we can say... But still, uh, I would prefer online. Yes. So thank you so much, sir, for coming to today's show. And this is all, friends, viewers. Uh, this is all for today's show. We talked about online and somehow versus physical classes we mm -hmm. talked about. We compared both of them. And this is all for today. And if you want to join our university, you can go to the official page of the University of Spoken English and Computer Sciences. Go there. You can watch there all the different online courses, etc. You can then have the courses, have the classes. You can take the classes. So this is all for today. Thank you so much. And Allah Hafiz, stay safe from COVID-19. Thank you.